Bay Divers. Thomas here with Circle H Scuba. I am at the Reef Track booth at Yuma 2025, and to me, this has been the talk of the show. It seems to be one of the most innovative dive products at the entire show. One of the most innovative things I've seen in a couple years for DEMA. Uh, Reef Track is, I, I don't want to say underwater GPS because it's not. You can't have GPS underwater, but it gives you navigational points and tracks your real time location underwater while diving. You can literally load up three dimensional maps. You can go to a dive site, have waypoints set up on your phone beforehand that you set up yourself or use community source waypoints and trails, almost like doing a land nav trail or a hiking trail, right? And then on your wrist, you have a device that's almost like an old TomTom -Tom GPS unit or a Garmin GPS unit where you can literally navigate waypoint to waypoint. So it knows your entry point, it knows your exit point, and then because your entry point and the device having whatever technology inside to track your movement underwater, proprietary technology, uh, they're able to basically track your movement in the water and show where you are in real time. This is literally what everyone's asked for is real time underwater navigation. Why don't we have GPS underwater? All this different stuff, right? So I'm actually here with Greg today. He is the founder of the company and he's gonna talk to us a bit about the product. We're gonna go over the app a little bit, talk about some specifics of uh, their go-to-market strategy and when you can maybe start seeing this out in the market for beta testing and things like that. As always, if you have any questions, leave them down below. I have Greg's contact info. I'm gonna be trying to partner with them to, uh, to get a device in my hand so I can do some real testing myself as well and give you even more in-depth content. Hey Thomas, I'm Greg. It's really, really a pleasure to meet you. Thanks so much for coming by the booth. So we are at the booth taking a look at the system. I'd love to hear about the system, how the, the tracking's working, what type yeah, of sure. things this gives the, uh, the diver for recreational use. and Yeah, re really two, two big components that we've done inside of this. There's a, uh, there's a mapping component where the team goes out, provides maps over reefs and wrecks, and collects that data so that you can do dive plans. And of course, ultimately, the idea is to be able to do, everything's about uh, subsurface navigation, about doing, you know, on diver navigation without, a, without having a buoy or, a, uh, or anything, you know, from the surface but doing that all on the diver. Perfect, yeah, no, that's awesome. So, you know, taking a look at the units over here too. So basically we've got a tracking unit on the left. So the diver's gonna wear that maybe on a BCD strap or that's something like that. Right. Then we have a wrist mounted system that kind of looks like an old TomTom -tom or, you know, like yeah. a, a handheld GPS mapping unit. That's right. And these are prototypes, so looks and size that's and everything right. might change of course yeah. too. But um, taking a look at these though, it's, it's basically having 3D mapping on your wrist with waypoints and being able to track that's exactly right. We are right. moving through the, the water, right? That's exactly right. Yeah. Yeah. And then, so you use your phone, do the planning with to begin with, mm -hmm. then send that plan up to the device that's on your wrist. The device okay. on your wrist is just a display. So ultimately that'll be, you know, go with a dive computer from right. you know, any one of the manufacturers. Uh, on your body is a uh, navigation device and that navigation device just tracking you throughout. There's a, a acoustic comms between the two. And then that comms package uh, ultimately will go to you know doing diver to diver and diver to boat communication. Yeah, no, I mean I think it's great. So, Thanks so much. yeah, I mean we were taking a look at it some, and we were going through this app here as well. So, um, are you able to pull up maybe a, a map yeah, of sure. one of the areas here or something yeah, like so, that? Yeah, so, so this is uh, you know this this is a really nice one. It's a you know common and well known. So this is Blue Heron Bridge, and so in this case I'm going to do a dive plan for Blue Heron. I'll, I'll pull that up, and then I can go through the app and show you. You know all the all the key features. You know where where to where to park. Details about you know what what happens at those locations. I can come through and get the the weather and you know inside of that. So at Blue Heron, you know finding um, exactly when you want to uh, to go is going to be a, a key piece of that. And then we go through and begin to create a dive plan. When you create a dive plan, you select what day that you're going to want to go. And so I'm going to pick that I'm going to go on uh, on uh, today. And then from there. I can pull up uh, and then I can either pick a predetermined route that one of my buddies have sent me or that I've done in the past. When I pull that up, it gives me all the detail about that and I can zoom in on it and begin to pull details about that and look at each one of the features that have been mapped in the past inside of that and get a lot of detail about what's there, what somebody may have seen there and so on. And then I can accept that and then that becomes a route that I will actually uh, load up on there. Before I go to it, I can write some notes. So if I want my buddies okay. to meet me at nine o'clock in the morning or meet on this corner that uh, what, you know, what's gonna happen, I can write those notes to remind myself. And then from there, I'll up, be, be prepared to upload that dive right to the device. And now it's ready to go as a brand new dive that I'll have okay. that's, uh, that's on the device. And then, so that wrist mounted piece goes with me on your water. That's gonna tell me headings uh, like my waypoints basically. So if I start exactly. deviating off, it knows entry exit point. 
That's exactly uh, right. So I know uh, the technology isn't GPS, obviously, because it's underwater. Right. Yeah. So it's using a special type of technology, proprietary to y'all, for um, yeah. basically going through and saying, here's your entry point. Yep. We know that you're moving in this direction now, so we yep. can plot your path on here That's in three right. dimensions. That's right. Um, so we know depth, we know time, we know distance that you traveled, yep. and you can start going around those different markers there and actually yep. then share out waypoints afterwards That's and, exactly and have right. that too. So Yeah, so the idea is to be able to navigate just like you do on your phone today in yep. that same sort of uh, comforts and convenience and know where you're going to go and then just, you know, not that dissimilar to Strava where you're able to share those routes and what you're going to see along the way with all your buddies inside of that. Uh, it sounds great. Yeah, yeah. I mean, on, on the channel, I've done videos on compass navigation, on natural navigation and stuff too. And I mean, yeah. this is the thing that everyone says when they start seeing other, other devices from other companies talking about like, oh, you know, we can start tracking divers underwater. It's still yeah. limited and one of the biggest features it's asked, yeah. it's asked for is like, I want waypoints. I want to be able to track a, the exact path that I am underwater. And this is doing that, so. Yeah, so this team had worked a lot of military tunnels and caves work, you know, going back to Afghanistan, Israel, Korea, that sort of thing, US Southwest border. And so that's a GPS denied environment. And you know, it's the same thing when you scuba dive, that's a GPS denied environment. So brand new class of sensors that are related to GPS denied. We use a couple of those in a way that you can begin to get a lot of diver behavior and what's influencing what's going on there. So to track you with the goal over an hour, hour and a half, to get you back within a boat length of where you started. Yeah, no, I mean, that's great. So definitely intended for recreational use. That's right. Um, as far as timeline, rough go to market plan, things like yeah. that. So Apple will be available just after the first of the year. The device itself will be available before the summer. Okay, yeah, no, that's awesome too. Um, and then uh, as far as loading up maps and everything, we saw Blue Heron Bridge on there, but... That's right. So how's that process so going? So we got about 40 sites that we've mapped already. So the team's sort of acting like a Google street car where it's driving around, you know, taking all the data now. We're, we're here, to, you know, finding partners to do that stuff all over. In the future, actually, the device will be capable of taking the imagery and then feeding that sort of Tesla, uh, Tesla style for data. Um, it's awesome. And, um, so that's uh, that's where we're going. So, and okay. then you don't have to have that. You could just go mark points and then be able to get back to those same points. So if it's a familiar dive to you that you've done or something new that you see, mm -hmm. you can mark those points, go in and edit them and be able to get along that way. And in the worst case, you know, nice orange button that's on there. You right. marked where you started, you push the orange button to say, I want to go home and it'll take you back to where you started. That's awesome. Yeah. And then one other question too. So on the app, I thought I saw, uh, so for those waypoints, you can upload photos that are kind of like geotagged in a sense. That's to that exactly spot. right. Oh, that's yeah. awesome too. Yeah. 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 That's exactly right. That's great. Yeah. Anything else you want to add, Greg? No, thanks so much, Tom. I appreciate everything that you do for the community across the whole and, you know, getting, getting the word out on what's going on. Yeah. Th thank you for everything. Oh, I, I appreciate it. Yeah. Thanks so much. Thanks, Tom.